Hello, and welcome to your general weekly reading for the week beginning April 16th, 2018. This week I will be using the Everyday Witch Tarot Cards by Deborah Blake. How are you doing? How is your April going so far? We have made it halfway through April, another step closer to the mid-year point. Um, I say this every week, I can't believe that time is flying so fast, but it's all good. So now that we've been progressing a little bit throughout our year, how are you doing? You perhaps went into this new year with some resolutions or some intentions or whatever you want to call them, some things that you wanted to work on this year and some things that were important to you. So it's kind of a good time to go back and to reassess those things. Are you taking the right steps to make those dreams come to fruition? Is there blocks in your way that you need to clear out? Is there anything that you kind of want to leave actually behind and not really bring in, not really actually happen? have happened in your life at all. You can change your mind. It's totally fair, but it's just a good time to reassess one's life. Um, we're coming through, like I said, you know, six month year or six year, the six month point will be coming very soon. It's going to come here like crazy. And I always know, you know, New Year's comes and you're like, there's so many things that I wanted to accomplish. Holy crap, this year just flew by. So let's take advantage of these times to, once a month or something like that to reassess our goals. Actually, the angels are reminding me of something. So I have very big, ambitious goals. I think we all do. Um, but sometimes those goals get super overwhelming. So they're not necessarily something that you want to look at every single day because you need to do A to Z to X to Z. Like you need to do all of these things in between to even get there. So that goal seems like a huge leap and you almost feel like you can't even get started. So instead of focusing on those huge goals, focus on that goal and look, look at the things that you can do today in order to reach it. And then in six months, go back to that goal again and say, okay, am I ready to actually work towards this as the goal? Or is there something else that fits in with this amazing goal that I want to accomplish that I could actually start to look at now and I could start to work on? So it's just all about conscious living, uh, asking yourself questions and looking at your life and looking at where it is that you would like maybe some change or some clarity and just taking action. Life can be what you make it. So let's make it a good one. Yeah. So when I was tuning into the energy here, there's not a whole lot of energy, which is strange because we've had such an impactful couple at least year. There's been so much energy coming in every single day and it seems really intense, but I'm not feeling anything overly crazy. There might be a little bit of uh, mental tension. I'm feeling some tension in my head. So you could be feeling a bit stressed this week or a bit mentally exhausted, but it's nothing too intense. It's nothing that will knock you back on your ass, which is always nice because the energy that I have been experiencing, and I think a lot of us have been as well, has been super intense for a really long time. And that gets exhausting because you have all these things you want to do. You want to live your life without also dealing with all of the pressure and the weight of the universe that's guiding us and helping us, of course, on our path. But sometimes that energy that's coming in can be a bit heavy. So what this is, is that I think this might be a good thing, to be honest with you. This week might be quite a flat and kind of relaxing and peaceful and a really great time for you to go within. Um, we do have a new moon on April 15th, which is before, after I'm recording this, but before I'm releasing this. That's it. April 15th. So um, new moons are a time to go within, to look at the things that you want to bring into your life. Um, what do you want to manifest? It's all about manifestation. So what is it? So reassessing those goals. What is it that you want? What are you missing? How are you going to get to where you need to be? If you want to, you can even do little things like I want to manifest somebody taking you out for lunch, buying me coffee, things like that. So start and nothing is too small. Just look within and see what your heart is telling you that you want and just go and get it. Mm -hmm. 
And moons are always a really interesting time. Now that I'm saying this, it's making a lot of sense why I'm feeling like this today. So um, it's almost like my negative mind is fighting with my positive mind, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to, you know, be positive and confident in some, in my, my own self. And then my negative mind wants to be safe and wants to kind of crash it down. So now that I'm doing this reading, I'm realizing that we're, that's not really a test, but it's just uh, the power of the energy of the moon, the powerful energy of the moon that's um, influ influencing us. So moons, full moons and new moons, both can be felt on about three days on either side of each. So right now, as I'm recording this, I'm in this manifestation energy. And so the universe is trying to bring me this amazing manifestation, but my mental human body or brain is like, no, well, like, what if it's scary? Or what if, what if it doesn't work? And think about all of these other horrible things that are going to happen if that happens. And the universe is like, no, 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 but this, this is what I want to bring you. So take a look in your life and see where the universe is trying to bring you stuff and where your human mind is trying to ruin it. So that being said, uh, keep yourself as positive as possible. You do not want to be manifesting bad stuff. Um, just try to be, or I guess I should say, be careful what, whoa, be careful what you wish for. My cards just blew up. Um, so yes, be careful what you wish for. That's not a mark of fear, but really think through the things that you actually want and the things that you're manifesting. How are you going to react when you actually get them? So for the general theme of the week, we have the moon. How cool is that? There's a new moon this week that will be influencing us and we get the moon as the theme. So the moon is gonna be a big influence this week. So make sure that you're manifesting, make sure that you're writing lists, make sure that you're visualizing, make sure that you are super, super, super clear on what you want. And if you're not sure, give it up to the guides and just say, whatever's gonna serve my highest and greatest good at this time, at this stage in my life, in this lifetime. So the moon is also about deception. Um, and not seeing things clearly, but that can also be a good thing. So for example, this little cute kitty seeing him or herself as a scary panther. So that could be good if she wants to feel strong. I've decided it's a female. So if you want to feel strong and that's your inner panther that you really want to come out into the world and be fierce and make things happen and just be a boss, that's who you need to believe that you are underneath. Transversely, if this scares you and that's who you think you are, but it doesn't feel good, if you want to be more authentically yourself, then that's also a good thing. It's a good time to look at that and see how are your perceptions of yourself affecting you? How are they influencing you? And how are they limiting you in a way? You know, we... We're made up our, of our own perceptions and other people's perceptions. So do you like what you see or do you not? And be careful that you're actually seeing what's really there. So these kinds of things will start to come to light or maybe there's new parts. There might be some things that this week that happen that you won't see clearly because the deception will be at play from the moon card. So it's not necessarily the deception comes from the moon in real life, but this symbolizes some deception of um, perception in our lives. This is the energy card for that, if that makes sense. So the moon itself doesn't actually cause deception all the time, but the energy of this card is called, is coming into play here. And that's what the moon card means in, means in tarot. Awesome. Okay. So for Monday, Tuesday, we have 10 of cups. So this is the, one of the best cards in the deck. So this is just saying that everything's coming up roses. So really enjoy the beginning of the week. Go have a picnic. If you have spring, if you're lucky enough to have spring, um, and spend time with the people you love doing something that you love. Again, are you seeing your life clearly? Are you taking things for granted? Do you actually feel you're missing something in some sort of relationship? 
And are you, or are you feeling like you need to perhaps end something, but you're not really seeing everything clearly? So just being very objective this week and looking at all of the angles and seeing where you could be contributing to a problem or your own limitations and trying to look at them objectively. And I think it'll be really easy this week to see the deception that's around us. So for the middle of the week, we have three of swords. It's pretty self-explanatory. A Valentine's Day date did not go well, as we see here. She stabbed the box of chocolates. This could mean heartbreak for some. Uh, it's not necessarily a romantic heartbreak. Um, for some, obviously, this is a general reading, so it could mean heartbreak. This deception, again, because this is a general reading, it could go either way. So it, the deception coming to light could lead to some heartache or some, oh, some ego burning or you making uh, rash decisions in your life as a result of the deception. So just be really careful this weekend when you do make big decisions. Um, just make sure that you're looking at everything very, very clearly. Okay, and then for the weekend, we had two cards that popped out. And so this is telling more of our story. Somebody, unfortunately, I think might have a breakup this week. But if you do, it's all good. It's going to be all fine. And if you need help getting through it, you know where to find me. I have a really good breakup kit that I will be <laughs> releasing for everybody soon. But I can give it to you if you do experience an unfortunate heartbreak soon. I digress. So... This uh, Nine of Swords, we've had it before. This basically just means, you know, heartbreak, sadness. So feel what you need to feel. The sun will come up again. If you are in a pit of depression, definitely feel your emotions, but don't let them own you and consume you and turn you into something that you don't like. The sun, the light is returning and take this deception of perception and look at everything. Look at your situation. Are you faking it? Are you tricking yourself into being this way? Do you feel depressed or are you just pretending, not really pretending, but is it easy for you to pull yourself out of this bad space? Are you actually trapped? Are you actually at a loss? Maybe you just need to take your power back. And this is everything else other than a relationship as well. This can be any situation in your life. And then along with that, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So these two cards together seem quite opposite. But they are, they came out, they flew out together. So it is a note from the universe that says, hey, on the weekend, things may seem like they suck, but that's deception. In reality, everything is awesome. Everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. You have the Wheel of Fortune at your side. You just need to pick which one you want. And this is a universal card or ma major arcana card, which means universal energies, which means you don't have a whole lot of control over it. So this is not something that you even need to manifest. This is something that will just be brought to you. But all you need to do is when you're in this situation, whatever this is that's making you feel like this, remember that this is you that you have all of the options in front of you. You can do whatever you need to do. You just might need to change your perspective and understand that it's just a perception. And also, if you have friends that are going through something like this, especially this weekend, try to help them see the Wheel of Fortune. Try to change their perspective some way. A good way to do that is to go talk to a complete stranger from a completely different walk of life than you. Go talk to somebody who's homeless and see what their perception of the world is. Change your perspective. Change, wear somebody else's clothes. Put on someone else's shoes. That always feels really weird when you put on someone else's shoes. So does living in someone else's perspective. But it is very powerful. Anything else for this week? Careful not to get too carried away in any sort of fear or any sort of anger or rampage of any kind. Just making sure that, you know, you're sharing your opinions with yourself and writing them down and 
looking at them, put on a hat of somebody else's or pretend to be someone else and just see if your perceptions of a certain situation may be a bit outrageous or perhaps untrue. And especially those negative perceptions about yourself. Those ones are the most detrimental because they're untrue and they will only limit you. So stop thinking that you're just a cat and see yourself for the amazing panther that you are because you are amazing and you are here to do some amazing things. And you can be this fierce warrior. You can be a fierce nurturer. You can be just a lovely human being, but don't ever let anybody else tell you who you are. And that could just be what this whole moon is about, is about shedding all of those, all of everybody else's perceptions and even our own perceptions of ourselves. It's going to be a good week, I think. I hope. I really, really hope. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing and liking and sharing and sending all the love. If you would like a private reading with me or a energy healing session or some spiritual life coaching to get yourself out of these negative perceptions and into your own power, I would be so honored to help you out. Uh, you can email me at thejourneytospirit at gmail.com and come visit me at katiehunt.ca. I would love to hear from you. Please comment below and let me know how your week is going and how your 2018 is going and all of the beautiful things that you would like to manifest into your life. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a fantastic week.